Hi everyone, it's Wax Fraud here, and welcome back to episode 7 of the 1.17 Let's Play series. Oh my god, what's happening back here? My dude, is there a jockey? Oh, I didn't even notice that. Actually, we could use those bones for bone meal. That's pretty nice, actually. I'll take that any day. But yeah, as you can see, we are at the new spider farm that we built on stream. There's actually a couple things we built on stream. We built a glow squid farm, we got a sea pickle farm, and the spider farm right back here. Didn't have enough time to really make it look nice yet, so we're going to spend time doing that maybe on stream. I'm not going to do that today. Today we're doing a bee sanctuary, so kind of excited about that. That's going to be nice. But yeah, this the, the spider farm is actually right next to where we have been digging, and we actually made a huge long play episode digging a lot of this out. And uh, yeah, I mean, we spent a lot of episode two digging this out too to get a lot of the diamonds. And I mean, yeah, it's kind of nice having everything right next to each other. We have the uh, way back up over there, or... We can just kind of swipe at some of these guys right here. Oh my god, he hit me. Swipe at some of these guys right here, and oh my goodness, there's actually a lot of them right here. I need to actually buff, beef this sword up or get a new beefed up sword with like sharpness, like five or something on it, dude, because this is not going to do it. Unless, oh, this is probably hitting them a lot better. Yeah, there we go. Uh, this will give me the XP, though, that I need to get back up to level 30. Pretty much all my stuff is um, like enchanted, but it could be a lot better. Also did want to remind you guys to feel free to catch me live on Twitch. That's where we have been streaming. That's where we made all of these farms. We have three new farms we made on Twitch recently. And we, like, made a lot of the Coral Reef. Beef that up. That's what we did last episode. If you watched last episode, then thank you very much, by the way. But yeah, all of the other links are in there, too. We got the merch, Patreon, and the Discord down there as well. Once you're done slicing and dicing, you can actually just hop right back up here. And this is my way back up and down. We don't have any soul sand and no magma blocks yet, so we don't have, a, like, a way to get like an elevator up and down yet, but we do have this ladder and uh, we do have that water down there to <laughs> be able to jump into. But once you're up, you're able to go here and uh, you'll notice that we have a lot more glowing names on the wall now. And that's actually because we, uh... oh my God, we need to sleep. Man, I really gotta be careful. You never know when creepers are just gonna be spawning at night. Like back there, there could be a couple creepers. You just, you really never know. Anyways, we did build this new sea pickle farm right here, which is not bad. I actually should probably line it up, like, with some... Yeah, like, honestly, just line it up with some deep slate tile. Just so that it's more noticeable, like, make it know that it... Make it known, I mean, that it is a farm. You just go this way. Oh, no! That means there's gonna be some torches down there that got ruined. Sweet! Yeah, that makes it look like it's more prominent. It looks like it's... Yeah, you know what, actually... You know what, actually, let's use some bone meal on this right now. We got three, and that's what I'm talking about, dude. The bone, the sepical farm, like, it works perfectly. It works great. But that's basically it. You got the coral right there. And uh, I might actually have to go back down real quick to see if any torches are down here, just to make sure they're not uh, out of place, because the water did drop down, and I don't need anything spawning down here. Yeah, it looks like there may have been something that... Yeah, the water may have gone down there, but nothing, there's no torches here, so we got to put something here. Something will spawn if I don't leave it. Uh, if I leave that alone long enough, I mean, so, just can't, can never be too safe on a hardcore world. But yeah, we got sea pickles that we can put down here now, we, I guess we should start worrying about, oops, let's, I guess that's not, uh, I guess we should be careful about that, these are not, uh, source blocks yet, we gotta be careful. Only source blocks and, uh, coral blocks, I guess, that's all, that's all, that's all we can do. But that's not that bad, it means we can do right there, and we can go on over here and fix this up too. Like, bing, bang, boom, bop. I also have a bunch of kelp, so, like, why not just, uh, place a bunch of this down? I think some axolotls are starting to spawn. I hear them. I hear the axolotls. Also, speaking of axolotls, there are a bunch at this glow squid farm that I made. I'm actually swimming right to it, so we might as well just, uh, hop up there and show you what I did. It's pretty, it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. So we can walk right up over here, and you'll see that, actually, we haven't seen it. I haven't been over here because I just hopped off stream like an hour ago. And, uh, dude, 28 glow. Oh, my God. That's so much. Who would have thought? But, yeah, it basically runs hoppers all the way through here. If I do this real quick, you can see. So, there's... This is all water. Like, oh, dude. Oh, perfect timing, my dude. Thanks for popping up in here. We got glow squids. And there's a lot of axolotls. An axolotl might pop up, but most likely will not. Uh, do we have dirt? We have dirt. But, yeah, with, uh, with this light exposed right now, there's not going to be no... Um, glow squids spawning, and uh, that's because just any light means no glow squid spawning. So basically, we're just gonna cover that back up. But yeah, we got like four axolotls in here, and they're just hunting them down, hunting all of the uh, squids down. And it's pretty nice, dude. It's pretty nice to have that done for you. And I kind of like this. It kind of is gonna bring some variance to the height levels of some of the builds. But you can hear it glow. You can literally hear something 
You can hear one dying right now. That's too bad. That's too bad. But then, it's, yeah, it all floats up. Goes right into all these hoppers. And uh, boom, we just... Yeah, we have 33 now, dude. But yeah, I really did actually want to build part of the... Uh, I kind of want to bring out part of the beach a little bit more this way. So it's not so crammed. Um, but I do want to uh, kind of make the... I want to make the ape area today. And I want to make one right here. Big old bee sanctuary right here. And I kind of have a design in mind. Um, so I'm going to build around it. But I'm going to have to grab a bunch of spruce wood... And I'm going to have to grab a bunch of glass, and that's for sure. So I got a bunch of glass, bunch of spruce logs in here. got some campfires so that I can collect some honey. I'm probably going to have to grab some more later. Uh, I do have some honey that I've been collecting from back there with those campfires that you can see. So I have some that I can make some, like, bees nests. But I need to go collect some bees hives from back there later. But for the bee structure, like the apiary or bee sanctuary structure, whatever you want to call it, it is just an 11 by 11 uh, start off point and then you go up by one, two, three, you, know, you have four up right here and uh, it's kind of weird uh, but I, I do like to do it like this. Uh, it's kind of a weird tr build. I, I, I was trying this out in uh, creative mode so you go up like that and then so it doesn't look too weird you can try this and you can do this and it goes down like that. So at each and then you can actually go up by four one more time. So go one, two, three and I will actually wait that might have been five. That was five. So I should have done that. And I fell pretty far there. I should be careful. But basically, you're going to go up in like that on all of them. So we can actually do it on this one as well. So we can go up one, two, three, four. Then you go in one, two, three. And then we can actually go up one, two, three, four. And uh, we can complete this connection. And it makes it just look like it has like a more sturdy physical structure. Um, but the glass is actually going to go inside of it. But yeah, that's basically going to be it for now. And then I think, I do think what we might do is uh, strip all the wood. Oh yeah, that looks way nicer. We got to strip the wood for sure. Stripped. And actually, since we do have the build going back over here, I might have the dirt come up a little bit farther this way. And that is just uh, my fault. I didn't mean for it to happen like that dirt so that's my apologies but you're gonna have to go this way yeah and then once we actually have all of these four here built on that first we basically just kind of it's the same thing but it's going all the way up going inside so we've got nine in the middle here and then it goes seven five three and once we get to the top i'll show you there so we've reached the top and yeah we can see all of our city except for the tower we've kind of covered it with trees but i like the path now that the trees are there it looks pretty nice I do want to get some stuff in between there. I don't like it how just that you can see the torches everywhere, but the torches are necessary now until we get glowstone and other forms of light out here. But, oh, what's up, B? How you doing? But yeah, now we're at the roof. We got everything up here. We went basically in uh, four times each way, and we got a stair down there. Kind of valuable property up here right now, but what we're going to do is kind of just go that way. Oops, that is actually the wrong way. Went completely the wrong way. We're actually going to go this way. Yep, and so it's going to start like that, and then we can actually have the roof go like this perfection but do we want i think i yeah it's actually just gonna be all wooden i'd rather it all just be wooden then we can go up like this and uh, we do kind of want a uh a staggered build so we, maybe we should take that and there it goes there it goes maybe we should take this and go up one and then go in like that yeah this is gonna be nice and we got the roof design finished here but now i'm kind of thinking you know i really i really kind of want instead of all spruce i want to bring the oak in and I didn't bring any oak up here, so I'm gonna have to jump down and hopefully just hopefully make it in the water. And yeah, we're a okay. I still need to get feather falling. That is something that we really, really got to do. But yeah, let's get some oak wood and see if that makes it look better. Let's see what it looks like from far away, though. Ooh, look at that. That is very strange, but kind of cool at the same time. You know, I think it looks nice, but uh, it's hard to tell from here. We're gonna have to jump down again. Oh, oh my God, I almost fell. Oh god, that was close. I don't know if that would actually kill me from fall damage, but dude, I like that. It kind of turned into a barn instead. I like that a lot. Ooh, okay, there I go, just hopping in and out. Uh, gotta stop doing that. Gotta stop doing that right there. But yeah, I like this. Gotta get all the ladders off. But uh, I'd say now is the time to get all the wood out of here, except for that. I do want to add some wood at the top once I get there, but let's get all the other wood out of here for now. Finish the roof. Let's get the glass in here. I think I am just going to go in like this with it, but we do need to, uh, 
actually get rid of some of that. So we'll just get that out of there. We do need to get rid of some of this dirt so that I can actually level this out and make it a nice looking build. Um, but yeah, we're going to put the glass in like this. Uh, in one from the wood. And it'll end up just looking like this all the way around. And we're going to go up in one from the wood all the way up. And then I'm going to end up fixing that top there. As you can see, it's kind of messed up there, but we're going to fix it. All right, we added all the glass, and I am just hopping down here, and look at that, dude. Ain't no doubt about it. That is a great-looking, great-looking little area here. Actually, wait, we need to take this out, take that out, and do we have enough? We need to grab a door, and actually, now that I'm looking at it, we do need to go back up, and can't see it because of the sun, but we need to go back up there and place some spruce logs up there just so it can be a little bit better. And Actually, unless we want to hang like a lantern up there, that might be kind of cool too if we hang a lantern up there. So I'm actually uh, digging out... Oops, that's my bad. Did not mean to do that. Digging out some holes here though. Can I not just uh, get rid of the sand for now? Give me that grass please, sir. And uh, let's replace. There we go. But what I did want to do was go down too deep here because I want to put down a... Uh, campfire and then uh, you'll see what I'm about to do but this is about to be basically just the honeycomb collecting area dude we need some honey we need a lot of it too so we got one right there so basically just gonna go down in each of these and basically this is just gonna help us collect the honey without the bees trying to attack us and uh, we can put the trap doors here the smoke can still go through the trap doors but this is just so we don't basically fall onto the fire and uh, that helps us out immensely then we're just going to place a couple of these fences here because it all still should be able to travel through the fence. And then got a couple of beehives here that we that we made. And uh, we're just going to set them right there. Set them on right there. Right there. Right there. And then we got two more. And then this is basically how we're going to travel in and about. So uh, I'd like to be able to just put a couple of bee nests like up here too. But we don't necessarily have to do that. But it would be nice. I'll probably end up putting some bee nests like out and about like around here um uh, probably in a tree that we planted a tree like right outside here probably should plant like another tree out here uh just so these buildings right here can feel a little bit more separated i'll put a beehive right outside but then what we need to do before we decorate the outside and get rid of all get rid of all these ladders is go back over here to the top and kind of fix this area up it's just kind of left it all bland and what i meant to do is and what I said I was going to do, and what I will do, is this. And we're going to do two chains each and just have two of these hanging. I think this is going to look nice. So, unless we just want to do one lantern each, I think, unless the lantern wants to hang right there. That actually might be nice. Well, I think we should just do that. So, let's do that right here. We got one lantern right there. We got one lantern right there. And then, I thought it'd be kind of cool for, like, farmhousey vibes if we just, you know, just kind of close it up with the fence. Instead... Of logs I mean, oh, that way we save up on logs and just use up some fence that we weren't gonna use I don't know I like that it looks nice and we got some light source coming from the top and uh, is this where we pillared it is where we pillared let's go back down actually before we go back down I did want to do this we have one two and then three four this is a good way to start decorating yes we want the trap doors there <gasps> wait I brought chains with me yes okay so that means we can go down let's go down two. Oh, that's amazing and then we even have some, I didn't bring any signs. Oh, I did bring signs. Oh, what if, what if we just did that? Not bad. And just two buttons. Oh my God, dude, this is starting to get, this is starting to get out of control. Okay. Let's go to, let's just go down one. Where's the lantern right here? Let's go right there. And dude, this, wow. This is great, man. This is great. We could even just go down. We have some areas that, okay, we could just go one and then two and then even go like buttons down there. Dude, we could make this pretty intricate with the decorations. I'll see what this turns out to look like. All right, and now we're going to be putting in the last two over here. And oh, actually, wait, I did forget these two and bam, it's done. Now we can actually, let's run away just a little bit. And dude, that is looking pretty sleek, dude. That's looking pretty sleek. That's looking pic picture perfect, actually. Uh, so what we need to do now is uh, we'll kind of maybe just uh, bone meal up this field a little bit. That way it feels like it's not just a huge glow squid farm right under. And then, then um, yeah, you know what? We probably need to bring some bees over here. So let's uh, let's grab some flowers and do that. Oh, it looks like we got a guy stuck in a boat. Why don't you get out of there, buddy? Oh, and you're out. Perfect. Okay. Go back to your home now, buddy. Go back to your home. Wait, actually, come with me. 
What am I thinking? Come with me now, buddy. I completely forgot. You got sidetracked for a second, but saving you. Oh, you as well, my dude. Perfect timing. Let's come out and then start your own little family in there. Come on now. Almost there. We're almost there. It's not too far. Not too far. Open the door. Come on now, bees. Come on now, bees. Oh, wait. My dude got caught. There we go. Come on now. Let's go. Almost there. Almost there. Get on in here. Get on in here. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. We can place you, and then we'll place you, and then we can actually just get on out. We have ourselves a bee colony in here now. That's what I'm talking about, dude. That's what I'm talking about. All right, now let's get the family started. Let's, let's get let's get a baby bee right here. Let's get, come on now. Let's get the family started. Let's do it. What are you doing now? Oh, we got ourselves a baby bee. We got a family in here now, dude. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. I actually did also. I almost escaped. Gotta be careful with that. They're probably gonna escape if I get too many in there. But I also planted an oak sapling right here and a birch sapling back here because I want to get some. Uh, I want to get some tree action up in here, and I also want to get some beehives over here too. It'd be nice to actually have some beehives next to the area but but yeah this is actually this is kind of I, I like this build one of the more uh i don't know one of the more quaint like original builds that i've done uh not much to it just a bunch of wood a bunch of lanterns i guess as usual and you know what while we're actually on the subject of bees what i'm going to do is i don't want to take away the bees homes like i can silk touch them and move them away but i am going to take away these trees right here because they're really really small and they're kind of just in the way and i'd rather just get like one big tree right <gasps> Oh no, gotta run, gotta run. Really gotta get out of here, this is bad. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Did not mean to do that. Did not mean to do that, that was bad. Wow, how, why did I do that? What is wrong with me? I just completely obliterated that. Is there even silk touch on it? There's not. Obliterated that thing. Better not be following me. Better not be following, just in case, I'm gonna get out of the field of view. Let's go find, I actually, I need to replace that, so. Jeez, man, why did I, that was reckless. Alright, let's find a beehive real quick. I know there's gonna be one back here, because we're in a flower forest, and there's usually beehives just ever, just absolutely everywhere. So, we're gonna find one eventually. We just gotta do some hopping around. I do see a bee up here, actually, so we are probably close. Oh, I see a bunch of bees out here. I wonder if these are all part of the lost bees that we've been looking for. Oh my god, there's like four bees over here, just flying around. You guys lost? Do you, do you not have a hive? Oh my god, dude, there's actually so many bees. There's a crazy amount of bees back here. I wonder if they all just came from my place. Now they're just looking. Well, unfortunately, I was not able to find a uh, another hive, but dude, I never really look at the city from over here, and it looks pretty nice. I like this side of the town. Uh, it's going to be a while before we start to get to work on this side of the area, but uh, it'll be it'll be cool once we do. Well, now I feel pretty bad, and I'm pr I, I just need to make a bee's nest for them because this is, this is bad. I just like kind of just broke their home not even kind of i definitely just broke their home so let's get some wax i think i have some actually wait i have i don't even i do not even have shears my goodness i'm all over the place let's go to one two let's get some shears let's get some wax let's make them a bee's nest or a beehive actually yeah that was a big old oops i guess for now i'm just gonna place it on that azalea bush that was it that was just my bad my guys did not mean to do that i will uh, i'll be careful next time i hope they didn't disperse like too many of them but Let's get rid of the rest of this tree right here, and then hopefully, you know what we'll do is actually we will just, we'll silk touch this right now, get it out of here, bam, we'll be holding it. Now we have we have three bees nests in here that we would like to uh, kind of get back into here, but I, I just want to, I want to get a really big, you know, one of those big oak trees right here. And uh, in order to do that, basically you just have to uh, use two cobblestones, just go up one, two, get kind of, get it away from some flowers so we can get rid of all of these for a second here, and then... Obviously, grab an oak sapling and put it in there. So we're actually just gonna... I mean, what we can do is just go through and kind of... I mean, the path is definitely gonna be going through here, so... We can break these flowers for now, and then... I mean, do we have any planks? I mean, we don't... Not really. We don't have any slabs, so... this. I mean, the path is gonna be going through here, eventually. And there's gonna be some Russian water noises. We're just gonna have to get over that if we want to have unlimited glow ink sacks uh i call them glow glow squid sauce on stream i like calling it glow squid sauce more you know it just kind of rolls off the tongue a little bit more but yeah i mean we can put the bone meal right here Ooh, one of the birch trees actually moved in i like this this looks pretty good dude it looks really good i like that um i'll actually take my cobblestone back then so this was the first guy to grow up this guy has not done anything yet and then i really want this guy in front of the house to grow up too but Nice, the birch tree grew. That's kind of cool. Let's put the, I guess, bone meal over here, too. Let's just make it seem 
a little bit more natural. Yeah, that's way better, dude. Then we just gotta get rid of all of the tall grass, because that just reminds me of creepers. And then, good to go, dude. This looks fantastic. I like this a lot. Well, how could I forget? I actually need to make the path go over here as well. That was uh, pretty dumb of me. Let's, uh, I mean, let's, I guess let's kind of spice it up, bring a little bit of cobblestone here and there, and there you go. Bam, we got our way in, we got our way out. Love this, dude. Actually, this birch tree looks nice enough to just throw a uh, bee, bee, like a beehive right there. That's perfect. I'm actually going to take this bed. There's a lot of stuff in here that I got to take. I'll probably end up putting it back there. We'll get this chest out of here. But dude, that's a decent spot for that. I like that a lot. We don't need to necessarily put a campfire under it because we have so many places to get the beeswax from here. Uh, or the honeycombs, I mean, from in there. But... But yeah, I like that placement. As soon as the other tree pops up, I'd like to put one bee's nest in here. What's up, bee? How you doing? I like to put one bee up in here, and then I like to put another bee's nest right back there if I can. All right, so that guy over there has not done it yet, but this guy has officially done it, which is actually super nice, and that birch tree kind of took the place of what I wanted that guy over there to do. So he might not even need to do it, which is perfect. Thank you, my dude. We might He might be able to grow if I do this, though. That might that might work, but, but this guy is perfection because... You want to know why? Because... He looks good. He looks real good. And we can actually place two bees' nests on here. We can do one on each side if we want to. We'll go one right there, and then we'll even just do one right there. And that way, the bees have a bunch of room. A bunch of room to hang. And then I should... I get this is silk touch. Yeah, it is. I should get that silk touch out of here. Let's move it right there. And then should probably... Probably just... I'll put another one right here. And I can actually probably get these cornflowers back in action. That's what I'm talking about, dude. These bees have... Plenty of room to, to just chill and do whatever the heck they want to do. Get that Lily of the Valley back in here. Where's that Allium? Where's that Allium coming from? Actually, wait. You know what we need to do? These bees probably want to make some babies. Let's make a baby bee. We got one. We got... We got... Wait, where are you going? Right, there you go. Baby bee time. Baby bee time. And, oh, yeah. It's baby bee time. What's up, baby bee? How you doing? Damn, my dude got just stuck in here immediately. Come on, man. What are you doing? What are you doing? Let's get you on out of that. And oops, that was just breaking all my seagrass. There we go. Perfect. Well, guys, dude, we have bees everywhere. This is sick. Guys, that's going to be it for today. Super fun episode. I really loved it. Um, again, if you want to catch me live on Twitch, just Wax Fraud on Twitch. That's all you got to do is type in Wax Fraud, and we're going to get there. And uh, you're going to catch me live. Basically it. Almost at 5,000 followers. So thank you guys for following on Twitch if you have been. And uh, the next episode for this hardcore series is going to be coming out next weekend. Um, also, the merch is on Etsy. The link is down below. Discord, if you want to join, feel free to join below. It is uh, a good time in there. Got a bunch of good people in the Discord. And then also, the Patreon link is down below. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. If you want to join on Patreon, you can definitely do that. But yeah, guys, uh, basically the same as always. Just take care till next time. Happy that we finally got a place for the bees to hang out. Uh, we got a huge apiary behind me and all of the new nests and everything that we brought in. There's a bunch of bees that are chilling all the way out, way behind me, like a mile behind me. But we can do that on stream. Um, but yeah, anyways, guys, uh, take care of yourselves and... Uh, yeah, goodbye.